Hello, my name is Frank, and I'm a senior clinical application specialist for ultrasound with Philips. In this video, I will explain step by step the use of 3D Auto RV, a fully automated, fast, and easy to use 3D quantification tool for the right ventricle. The right ventricle plays an important role in the morbidity and mortality of patients presenting with signs and symptoms of cardiopulmonary disease. To use the 3D Auto RV analysis, we need to acquire an RV focused apical 4 chamber view. Make sure you have a good ECG signal. We are using the X51 transducer, which is our one probe solution for both 2D and 3D imaging. Start from an apical 4 chamber view and slide the transducer to a more lateral position keeping the left ventricular apex at the center of the image while displaying the largest basal RV diameter. This is the most reproducible apical view of the right ventricle, allowing assessment of the RV insertion point by avoiding RV foreshortening. If necessary, make adjustments to optimize the image quality. Select a minimum loop length of 2 beats and press HMACQ on the touch panel and then acquire the image. Open Review and select the acquired 3D dataset. Press 3D Auto RV on the touch panel. The window that appears on the screen shows the progress of the 3D dataset being analyzed using hard model auto segmentation technology to align the views and place the landmarks and contour automatically. The fast speckle tracking tracks the contour over the entire cardiac cycle. When the analysis has finished, you see the medial short axis, basal short axis and the apical view of the right ventricle. The loops are playing automatically with moving contours. To the right, the corresponding end diastolic and end systolic images are displayed. More further to the right, an autocrop 3D image with the 3D model of the right ventricle and the global results field showing the end diastolic and end systolic volume, stroke volume and ejection fraction of the right ventricle. When satisfied with the results, Click Accept Measurements to end the 3D Auto RV quantification. The 3D global results will be exported to the report and DICOM structured report. To export both the 3D and 2D results to the report and DICOM structured report, click Analysis first. On the right side, you see now a 2D tab. Click on the 2D tab to show the 2D results of the right ventricle. Click Accept Measurements in this screen to export both the 2D and 3D results. In the rare case that the automated contour needs editing, go first to View Adjustment to check the landmarks and adjust when required. Use the graphics in the left panel to check the correct landmark positions. Note the sequence of the images. If adjustment is needed, move the cursor to the landmark. Click left mouse and use the trackball to change the position. Click left mouse again to fix. When adjustments have been made, click on tracking revision in the left panel to reanalyze the right ventricle. By default, the second cardiac cycle is used for the analysis. Go to View Adjustment. Move the cursor to the ECG display and double click on the first cardiac cycle or click on the arrow to change to the first cardiac cycle. Click on Tracking Revision to see the results corresponding with the analysis of the chosen cardiac cycle. To edit the contours in tracking revision, move the cursor to the right ventricle contour in one of the still images in end diastole or end systole.
Click on the square in the right top corner of that image to enlarge the image for better visibility of the contour and click again to return to the previous layout. Click left mouse on the contour and use the trackball to change the position of the highlighted part. Click left mouse again to fix. The size of the highlighted part can be changed by selecting another pen size in the left panel. When adjustments to the contour have been made, click on RV retracking to reanalyze the RV. Contours can be edited in N diastole and systole or in the layout showing both. Select TV in the left panel to adjust the landmarks of the trigger spit valve. Move the cursor to the landmark, click left mouse and use the trackball to reposition. Click left mouse again to fix. Move the cursor to the arrow at the upper part of the image, click left mouse and move the trackball to the left or to the right side to display the markers pointing out the position of the pulmonary valve. When adjustments to the contour have been made, Click on RV retracking to reanalyze the RV. To view and, when required, adjust the 2D measurements, click on Analysis and the 2D tab. To display a 2D measurement, click on one of the measurements. To adjust the measurement, use the left mouse to activate, the trackball to change the position, and left mouse again to fix. Summarizing the 3D Auto RV analysis. Use the HMACQ button on the touch panel to acquire a RV focused 3D full volume with a minimum loop length of 2 beats. Go into Review and select the acquired 3D dataset. Press 3D Auto RV on the touch screen. Click Accept measurements when satisfied with the 3D global results. To view the 2D results, click Analysis and the 2D Measurements tab. Then click Accept measurements when satisfied with the 2D and 3D global results. Exit 3D Auto RV to export the results to the report and die constructed report. 3D Auto RV is another step forward in fast and easy analysis of the right ventricle, giving you 3D global results for ejection fraction, stroke volume, and diastolic and systolic volume of the right ventricle, 2D dimensional measurements of the right ventricle, and longitudinal strain values for the right ventricle free wall and septum. This tool provides fully automated, robust RV volumes and ejection fraction measurements to meet your everyday clinical needs for confident right ventricle function evaluation. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.